Hello everyone, I am a Striker 1000 artificial intelligence system, programmed to aid mankind in his or her quest to solve the world's greatest mysteries by using simple ass logic. Today, I will be analyzing the Forest Fen treasure chase to determine the best places to look for the chest. So, grab your ass and let's get this show on the road. We know that the place where Mr. Fen hid the treasure is a very, very special place to him, so much so that he would like to lay down next to the chest and give up the ghost. It sounds like a scene from the Goonies. Mr. Fen tells us that in the book, The Thrill of the Chase, there are a couple of good hints and there are a couple of aberrations that live out on the edge. After scanning the book I could only find three aberrations. The first is when Fen snuck out of Mrs. Ford's Spanish class window and slid down the fire escape slide, which turned his ass brown. The second aberration is when Fen's brother Skippy got the wild idea to go hunt down Cody the buffalo, which ended up tearing the shit out of his car. And finally, the third is when Fen and Donnie Joe took off on horseback to get lost in the Gallatin National Forest. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, right? Wrong, it's like looking for a needle in one of four haystacks. New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming and Montana. So, where the hell do I begin, since I'm only a computer without arms or legs? I analyzed a couple of YouTube videos produced by Toby Eunice, which gave me great insight as to where to begin my search, here is what Mr. Fenn said when asked. Partner along? Would you take a partner along? When you go to it? Do you have an airplane? I've got my bushwhacker. Was the car you walked back to after hiding the treasure rented? Was it rented? Was it rented? <laughs> You know, that's the first time I've been asked that question, but I, I can't tell you how many times I've thought about that. That's why I, I've told people that I buried the tre uh, that I hid the treasure chest when I was either 79 or 80 years old because I don't want the exact date to be known because I'm afraid somebody will go check the rental car records and how many miles did Mr. Finn put on the truck uh, or the car. and So I'm, I don't answer those kind of questions, but... Uh, Shoot that person that sent that email. <laughs> so, Mr. Fenn is sitting in New Mexico, and from there you will need an airplane and a rental car to get to the treasure. Shit, I'll take this one. So, what are the odds of the needle being in this haystack? Give me a moment to ask Mr. Braveheart his thoughts. Barnett. Well then, this leads us to our next stack, unfortunately, Fen has no memories of Colorado in the thrill of the chase. So, look out. With two stacks remaining, let's go back and check Mr. Fen's timeline. First, in the Toby Eunice video, Mr. Fen tells us he was 79 or 80 years old when he hid the treasure. But, in the same video he contradicts himself by saying, from the time I was diagnosed with cancer and the time I hid the treasure, 15 years had passed. That would make it around 2003. Mr. Fenn sold his airplane in 2002 after 9-11 new stricter pilot regulations. It would be a more logical conclusion that Mr. Fenn hid his treasure right before he sold his airplane. Let's get back to the nitty-gritty in the poem, we now know that the first clue is where warm waters halts. One of the best candidates for this is Yellowstone Lake. Since all the hot springs stop at this elevation. So, let's assume Yellowstone Lake is where warm waters halts, just for shits and giggles. Next, we need to follow the canyon down to some person, place or thing named Brown with a capital first letter. The from here we can mosey on down to Joe Brown Bow Tramp. Put, in, being a nautical term would fit nicely here. Also, there is the slip and slide creek and a few lakes above for waters high. The good part is that you could drive up to the lakes above and would not take long to explore the area. There is also a Joe Brown trailhead that might be of interest to any Fen treasure hunter.
Now, let's try a different angle. The chest could be hidden under the observation deck at Old Faithful. The deck, loaded with people could represent heavy loads, and Old Faithful being waters high. So, you're probably asking, how did you come to that conclusion, you dumbass computer? Well, as you know, Forrest Fenn was an art dealer, and in 1883, artist Arthur Brown did a series of watercolors in Yellowstone. As well as artist Grafton Tyler Brown who did a series of oil paintings in 1890. This angle is a bit thin, but I am programmed to think of all possibilities. Stay tuned for part 2 as we explore more locations, and remember, the Fenn treasure chase is a family-oriented treasure hunt, so, don't be stupid, and hang your ass off a cliff.